Now, I'm sure that all of you are here looking at building a global business for yourself and for your family. So I'm going to share my perspective and uh, share my analysis of what this business means to me and many of the people who are my partners here. And I hope that uh, this evening will give you a way to evaluate this business for yourself and uh, see if you too can join us and fly to a new blue sky in building a global business together. This is the time where lots and lots of people, and you could see here workers quit jobs in droves to be entrepreneurs. Now this entrepreneur craze for the next 10 years is going to be unstoppable. Partly due to the pandemic, you can say, jobs are disappearing. This is one of the phenomena that's unstoppable. The other thing is that um, technology is really in favor of people who wish to start your own business. Now, once upon a time, 50, 100 years ago, to start a business is very costly. Um, the equipment, the business tools, you know, just to buy a fax machine and a printer and whatever not, you know, all these things all add up together is uh, very expensive. But today, technology has really equipped all of us to be like this guy, you know, holding a baby, sitting on his desk, and yet he could do a lot of things. And uh, with a few monitors and, uh, and a laptop, he could really reach to the entire world. Technology, uh, internet has really strung the world in a very one dimensional and allowing many of us who has that vision and the aspiration to get out there and connect to the world and making it a possibility. The way that most of us are brought up, we all went to school and in the school, we are trained to, to study hard, work hard, and then get a job, right? So nobody says study hard, work hard, and do a business. Very few teachers will tell you that, <laughs> yeah. And um, all of us were programmed to study hard, work hard, and then get into that little chain, you know? And uh, sometimes we get locked up there for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Well, in the era bygone, we could literally get into a good job, work there for like 30, 40 years, and then retire from there. That perhaps is our grandparents' generation, our father's generation. But when it comes to our generation and our future our children's generation, I would hesitate to say that that is going to be a valid model going forward. Yeah, and more and more people are breaking free. More and more people want to break free and to have one or more or a combination of all this uh, reason that is uh, listed in this slide here. Yeah, they want to have flexi time. In fact, they want to have the opportunity to earn a lot more money than, than is approved by someone who will agree on a contract and then give you incremental, decide for you how much you're going to earn on a yearly basis or monthly basis. So a lot, a lot of people are having the aspiration. Now, I'm not a job banger. I don't, I'm not saying jobs are no good. All I'm saying is that if you are here tonight, you surely must have a reason for you to spend this evening with us here. Are you here looking for a job? I'm sure you, you know that this is not a, not a job placement service, yeah? but this is an entrepreneurship opportunity. So there are, there are people who are aspiring to find themselves a new opportunity that can, they can reach out there, not just do a small business on the street corner, but really riding on the internet technology, getting to the global marketplace and build for ourselves a global business. Now, there are many reasons for people who want to be your own boss. And then you can enter your reason, financial freedom, time flexibility, personal development, helping others, retirement, or any other reason that you want to be your own boss. We all know that if you work in a job, whether you're very capable or not, you know, you're just going to get a fixed pay unless you're in a sales commission type of job. The moment you get into a job, literally you have sold your time to the company. So time flexibility is something that is going to be very tough. And uh, one of the one of the stress, mental stress that is experiencing by a lot of workers during the pandemic is that they are spending far too much time, even though they are working from home. 
and that mental stress is really at an all-time high at the moment now. Good. I'm very glad that all of you have participated in this uh, little survey here. So you could see on this slide here that most of us are really interested in gaining better financial freedom and better time flexibility. I don't think the gig economy is really the answer to many of us. Reason being this. Now, Robert Kiyosaki is a famous author of The Rich That Poor That. And thankfully, I had the opportunity to meet him in person in the year 1997, when he chanced upon coming to Singapore and gave a talk in the seminar room. And that was the night where I started to be educated on the concept of different ways of generating income. In 1997, I was very interested in pursuing entrepreneurship, but I didn't know what to do. And uh, so naturally, I subscribed to whatever seminar that provide educations. Uh, at that point in time, there was no YouTube, there's no video of any sort. So we resort to really attending many in-person kind of uh, uh, seminar. And Robert Kiyosaki have this to say. He say all of us gain our income from one or more of these four quadrants. He named it E, S, B, and I. Now, we are all very familiar with the employee quadrant, the E quadrant, because in the employee quadrant, we have a job, right? And we agree in the service contract or the job contract that we're going to sell eight hours every day for a paycheck at the end of the month. So literally, it is we are selling our time to get a certain fixed income in that sense. Now, many of us, after a while, we get good at whatever job that we are doing. A designer who get very good at graphic design will tend to decide to leave the job and become a self-employed person. And that is in the gig economy, right? And um, an engineer who wants to start his own firm, for example, will become a self-employed and start his own engineering consulting firm, for instance, yeah? In the S quadrant, unfortunately, you might think that you are in business, but actually you own, you own a job. You own a job, that's it. In other words, you are still trading time for money. If you don't get a, a contract, you don't get anything. So Robert on that night shared that the real people who are really succeeding in the business world is not the S quadrant people, but the B quadrant people. So I was a little confused. What is the difference between self-employed, which I thought was a business person, and a B quadrant, which is a business owner, right? And he has this to say, he says that the B quadrant people are different from the S quadrant because they own a system and they have people working for or with them. And in that sense, they are no longer depending on active time in exchange for money. They have a system that is working and they have people working together with them. So physically, whether they are there or they are not there, the business is a system that continues to generate financial success. And I was very intrigued and I decided that yes, then this is really where we all should be focusing on. In fact, Robert says that whether you are in the E or in the S quadrant, you must find a way to get started in the B quadrant as soon as possible. But of course, when we think about the B quadrant, we think at that point in time in 1997, yeah, when I think of starting a business, wow, it was very scary. It's like, wow, where to get that kind of capital, the kind of capital to uh, rent a shop space, hire people. And so that's traditional way of starting a business. And then he add on, he says that when you earn your first pots of gold from your business, you make sure that you then allow the money to start working for you. And he added one more piece of advice. He said that, a lot of people are interested to get into the investor quadrant. Even though you have very little money, you think that by going into the investor quadrant, you'll make lots of money. He said it's a big mistake because even though you get an investment return of say 10, 20%, if you have very little capital, even 20% of very little is not going to be much. He said focus 10, 20 years of your life in building a successful business. Well, of course, I can't argue with him on this concept, but it's easier said than done, right? And uh, so what business to do? 
and uh, how can we build a business out of nothing? What product to sell? What service to design? What markets to get into? So all these are swimming around me for many, many years before I embark on network marketing. So tonight, I want to share with you how I see network marketing, how I saw network marketing way back in 2001 and how it has made a big difference in my life for the last 20 years. So tonight, I'm going to share with you network marketing, all right? And network marketing, another name for it is called multi-level marketing. And they, they literally means the same thing. Network marketing describes the way that we're going to build our business through our personal network. So I built my, my, my network marketing business starting with my network of friends. And then they built the business through their network of friends. And as a result, we create a humongous network that spans globally like what we are seeing tonight. Multi-level marketing is exactly the same thing, except that it describes the way our compensation is designed and computed. In other words, we are compensated on multiple level deep. Now, it's not that different from a big corporation, like, for example, a bank. Right? You, have the, you have the vice president, and then you have the director, you have the senior manager, you have the manager, and then you have the executive. So everyone is compensated in a certain uh, percentage. So that is how it describes the, this model. Now, what is network marketing? Literally, it, simplistically, it means we promote and we sell product or services through a network of independent distributors. We are all independent business owner of ourselves. We write on a company. And in tonight's um, talk, I'm going to talk about a company called Avita, which is where I'm building my network marketing business on. And the opportunity that this company offers to us as independent distributor is not just the rights to sell the product to our friends. Okay, but also to be able to share the opportunity to our friends to join us as independent distributor. In other words, we are the master franchisor and we are also the franchisee, two in one. In normal franchise business, you are only allowed to sell the product. So say, for example, if you are a Starbucks franchise, you only can sell Starbucks coffee, but you can't franchise further out to your friends. Okay, you can only franchise from the Starbucks master franchisor. But in network marketing, the big difference here, and this is what excited me in 2001 when I got started with it, when I started evaluating network marketing business, is that there's two in one. I'm able to be the franchisee that sell the product on behalf of Avita, but at the same time, I'm able to business develop and sell the opportunity to my friends to join me as my sub-franchisee. And as a result of that, everyone is able to then create a humongous international network that collectively move the Avita product to the international market. Now, this, this industry is not a small one. It has been growing from year to year without fail, whether it's the health crisis, the oil crisis, the Enron crisis, the stock market crash, you know, the pandemic, whatever. The global network marketing industry has been climbing up and up and up. In fact, more and more people are getting into this industry. And at the same time, one of the other phenomena is that nobody actually believes the advertising, uh, the traditional advertising anymore because we are all smartened to it, right? We know that Tiger Wood, if he drinks, if he advertises Coke, you know, it's not because he loves Coke, it's because he's paid a certain amount of money to market Coke in that sense, right? So network marketing goes on the time-tested and proven the best of the marketing means, which is word of mouth marketing. I'm sharing with my, all my good friends about a certain product is because I'm putting my own reputation on the line. And so on and so forth, you are he hearing about this opportunity from somebody. Surely somebody must have told you about Avita opportunity and Avita product. And they are vouching on their reputation for you to experience the goodness of the product or the benefits and the advantages of the business opportunity. So this market is climbing and it will, 
is projected to hit 650 billion over by the year 2025. So it's not just a small people, you know, once upon a time, I thought that it is for the little people, people who, have, who do not have a lot of money, people who uh, retrench, people who, you know, can't find a job, they resort to network marketing. Yeah, once upon a time, that may have been the impression in some of us. But over the last 10, 20 years, the network marketing industry has taken a professional shape and powered by technology, especially today. Network is about connections and connection is powered by technology. And when technology comes into the play, and that is the reason why now is the best time to start building your network that can grow internationally. So I was surprised when I first heard Sir Richard Branson talking about network marketing. So you could uh, search the YouTube, uh, you, will, you will hear Sir Richard Branson discussing and analyzing the power of network marketing entrepreneurship and how he feels that network marketing will drive the growth of the phenomena of entrepreneurs over the next 10, 20, 30 years. Now, it's not only him. Surprisingly, someone who is very traditional in the big corporations like Bill Gates, he has also made a bold statement that the 21st century is a century of network marketing. And last but not least, and one more very prominent person who we, most of us know is Tony Robbins. And Tony Robbins has quite a few videos discussing the pros of network marketing. And now I would like to invite Tony to come on board with me and share his insight into the world of network marketing. So let's, let's interview Tony Robbins and hear what he has to say. To run a business requires a certain natural capacity, a nature, if you would, besides skills that you learn. And it's the ability to handle risk. It's the ability to handle stress. It's the ability to do a lot of different things. And you have to be able to manage finance. So you, most people, they have some of those skills. And that's why every year, 50% of businesses that start are out of business. You know, you look at over any you know, five-year period of time, 80% are out of business. And over a 10-year period of time, only 4% make it. Now, make it, it doesn't mean that they're making any money, right? That just means they're still standing. 96% fail. What's beautiful about network marketing is you get all the benefits of being an owner, but you don't have to be worried about supply chain. You don't have to be worried about accounting, especially in the world we're in today. I mean, network marketing used to be a little bit more different, but today with technology, you can know what's happening in real time. The companies have already set up the software. They know what happens. So it's really picking the right company, and there's a lot of great companies in that area. And it's really realizing that you're really a value creator. If you can go out and add value to other people's lives, if you can just introduce people to a product or a service that a company represent that truly is extraordinary, some products and services can't just be thrown up on Amazon. They need the story to be told. And if you found a product or service of that nature and you got a company that has a generous schedule of being able to reward you and then you begin to get leverage where it's not just you, where you've multiplied your efforts to other people, then you get the, all the benefits of being a business owner without all the headaches and without the same level of risk. And so I think, um, I think Nick Ormark is amazing. When I first saw this video, I feel like Tony was really speaking to me. Yeah, and um, it, is, it is a mixed bag of a different kind of thinking and feeling and doubt that I had once upon a time when I first thought about wanting to embark on being an entrepreneur. You know, the, I got to worry about supply chain. If I'm going to bring in a product, I got to stock up maybe a container load of it. And then I got to get a warehouse. I got to hire people. And uh, I may be very good in, say, marketing the product, but I may not be very good with the finance part of things and accounting, the bookkeeping, you know. If I'm very good in the finance part of things, I may not be very good in human resource management, for example. So that is, it's, it's always a very uh, uh, scary, yeah. It's like uh, you, to be an entrepreneur, you have to be a superman. So Tony put everything in one in, in just a short interview. He speaks very, very fast, you know, but he's saying that 
at the end of the day, network marketing takes over a part of these challenges. So it is a combination of me being an entrepreneur. This is a new age entrepreneurship I'm talking about now. So if we are an entrepreneur that focus on opening up the market and we have the backing or the platform of the business, and what business are we talking about? We are talking about the Avita business. So tonight, I would like to help you to, to ask yourself, right? Network marketing is amazing, he said. And I would say the same thing that network marketing is, is amazing. Now let's explore if Avita network marketing could also be an amazing opportunity for you. So I'm going to describe to you in a very short session tonight, how we professionalize network marketing, the Avita style, and what is the kind of value creation that we are expressing, like the way Tony said, not all products can be put on Shopee or put on Lazada or Amazon and you know, it's sell by itself. So what kind of values that we are creating in the world today and how we can capture as a result of that a sustainable and global business for ourselves, okay? Now, before I get into the thick of Avita business, we have to understand that not many of us are schooled in, the, in how to evaluate a good business opportunity. And I learned this from another guru. His name is Mr. Team Sales. And he said this, he says that in order for us to understand what will create a big business success, it is not just what you like, yeah? Because I like butter cake, doesn't mean that everybody will love butter cake and butter cake will have a, will have a tremendous business trend, the, the right business model to, to sell butter cake, yeah? And make me, something that I like is one thing. Something that is in the right trend is more important. So understanding what is in the right trend is really crucial because an average product in the right trend will give you a far huger and bigger opportunity than the best of the product, but in the wrong trend. Then when you have identified the right trend, the next most important thing is understanding the business model. Are you selling it one by one? Are you selling in a network basis? Are you selling on the internet? Are you, there are thousand and one way of doing it. So in other words, having the right business model will give you the right vehicle. So the right trend is like the big highway you know, to, to success and the right business model is the supercar that you're going to catch the right on or you're going to you know, put the key in and ignite and drive to fifth gear. And then the next most important thing is having the right people because today's model, today's world, there's no longer a superman, right? You, it is about putting people, collaboration, the shared economy, you know, working collaboratively, collaboratively together and win together. So these are the three things that I will go systematically one at a time. So let's talk about the right trend. What is Avita company? Where we come from? And uh, what do we do? Yeah, we have a very simple guiding slogan for ourselves. For a better life, for a better world. A vita, vita means life in Italian. And a vita, you can construct it or think about it as a life, all right? And uh, we specialize in wellness, preventive care product, and solutions for our human health. So wellness is where we are in. We are a Singapore company, and we are born on, in, on the 10th of August, 2007. So this is going to be our 14 year. It is an Asia-wide opportunity. It, as you can see, we are into nine countries across Asia, although our customers are dotted all around the world. Okay, I personally have customers even in London and Moscow and St. Petersburg and all. Now, so this is the company you can see here. We are all the distributors, happy distributors and uh, coming from all walks of life, coming from all the different countries. And we welcome you to join us and partake in this global creations of a global network that is going to be very powerful in bringing about a better life and for a better world. 
We all have to really give thanks to this uh, wonderful lady. Her name is Li Xiangying, Miss Li Xiangying. She is a founder and the CEO of Avita. She was one with the visions that and her, she's been a very successful traditional business woman to begin with. Yeah, she did not get started in the network marketing until when she discovered the model of network marketing, she decided to devote her life to build the best of the network marketing company so as to offer aspiring entrepreneurs like you and I a chance to partner with the Avita company to grow a global network for ourselves. I'll speak a little bit about the partnership in a, in a later slide, but I wanted to um, capture one of the saying of hers, which kind of encapsulate her being as a person. And being as a person, as a founder, as a CEO, is really important because that means the meaning and the philosophy of the company. She says, life is a gift. Do not take it for granted. And you can expand it in different dimensions and interpretations from here. What she's saying is that your life, my life, we have to be very accountable and we take every moment to be very precious. And we are going to build something up for ourselves and our family. Let it be something that will be humongous and something that will last and sustainable. So do not take it for granted, not any single moment. And I hope that uh, um, this will manifest itself also in tonight because every second, every moment that we are spending together here would mean a turning point for hopefully every single one of us. So we are looking at the trend. So Avita is in the trend of the wellness. Now, besides wellness, there are other unstoppable trends as well, one of which is technology. And we it's undeniably so. And in fact, because of the pandemic, it has leapfrogged technology with regards to AI, robotics, Internet of Things, 5G, et cetera. But you and I also know because of the leapfrogging of technology, it's going to drive a lot more people out of the jobs. In fact, uh, there was a report a couple of last week, I think in Singapore paper that a big portion of uh, workers in Singapore over the next uh, couple of years is going to be replaced by machine. Machine learning, artificial intelligence is, um, is an unstoppable thing. Yeah. So, but is it easy to get into the technology realm of business or opportunity? Not easy. It is... Uh, it takes many, many years right, to, to, to get good in such technology. So it's not something that's easy to get into. Now, then there's another big trend that is unstoppable, and that is, has got to do with our Earth, our Mother Earth, eco-friendly technology, anything to do with zero carbon, anything to do with plastic alternative, meat alternative, how to save the world. This is another humongous area. Yet, this is another area that is very hot. However, it is an area that is very challenging for any single individual to get into. Now, what is the big difference with the wellness? Wellness is about you and I. It's every single one. It's any city, any place on planet Earth that has got human. Our health, preventive health, preventive care is going to be the big thing, especially after pandemic. Everybody is aware that immune system is going to be really important. It's the first line of defense and also the last line of defense. Anti-aging, we are all growing older. And this is an unstoppable trend that every single one of us tonight can write on. And it's exciting. This is where Avita business is building into the trend of wellness. Why is wellness something that is where that will become bigger and bigger as it snowball forward. If you look at just the demographic of the Asian people, okay, since we are in Asia, most of us are in Asia, just look at Asia and Pacific region. You're looking at by the time 2050, you're going to have one in three people older than the age of 60. And this is uh, data that you can, you, can, you can Google on the internet. Southeast Asia, one in five. And some, in some of the North Asian countries like Japan, is one in three. In other words, as we go forward, 
the fast aging population is going to creep and it's going to grow bigger. Now, the Gen X and the baby boomer will be the people that is accounted here. And the um, millennia is going to come forward very, very soon. But what does it mean? It means that more and more people are getting older with a lesser, younger generation of po populations to sustain. So we ourselves has to make sure that we are no longer be able to depend on children. If we have the wealth, we will really be smarter to make sure that we take care of our health. Okay, And if that applies to you and I, it will apply to my neighbor, my friends, my cohort, my brother, my sister, and everybody else. So this is going to be a global phenomenon. It's going to be a global growing concern that is going to become more and more important and pertinent as we age, as the year goes forward year by year. In other words, the economy is going to go bigger and bigger. How big is going to be? Let's take a look here. This is the market survey that was done in 2019. And the latest is not out yet. But already in 2019, which is like two years ago, the projection is $4.5 trillion market. The global wellness economy, $4.5 trillion. It means four with 12 zero behind it. Yeah, it is a humongous market that is growing and it will continue to grow. Perhaps now it could be $5 trillion market already and it will just keep growing bigger and bigger. Question is that, do you and I have a chance to be in this market? Not just be a consumer of this market, but be a business owner, be a entrepreneur, be a service provider, be a solution provider to this growing market segment. Now, this is what it means by trend. If you understand the trend and you are on the trend, you are on the highway to somewhere. Now, Avita has a whole series of products that are tailored for that trend. We have the Salogen, which is right on the left side here, which is uh, our hot selling number one uh, top selling product. It is a cellular therapy product. We have live biotics, which is a probiotics, which is really important for our health. And we have the late, latest product that was launched also from Switzerland, Salava, which deals with anti-plugging on our blood vessel, which is a growing concern for anyone, okay, that is coming of age. At the same time, it is helpful in lowering cholesterol or balancing cholesterol, as well as fatty liver. These are all lifestyle illnesses that is on the rise and it will not stop. So we are providing something that is a very precious solution that many people are looking for. Now, tonight, I'm not going to go into a product discussion, okay, because it's not the purpose of tonight. Uh, tonight is really understanding the business opportunity behind that. I would really like to invite you, if you are quite new to the Avita range of products, to meet with your friends who invited you to tonight's presentation to really understand the, firstly, the benefits and the feature of each of these products, but more importantly, the market potential behind each of these products. Okay? Suffice to say that, all these products coming together will then couple into this $4.5 trillion market that is a global unstoppable trend that we are looking at. We have a lot, a lot of testimonies and uh, I warmly invite every one of you to serve our website. Uh, we have a good collections of uh, testimony from different countries. Like for instance, here we have uh, Dr who is taking our, our supplements as well as uh, uh, recommending it to his patients. And we have people from US, uh, people from uh, Perth, uh, Austra uh, no, Melbourne, Australia, and Singapore, and various countries, okay? Suffice to say that Salogen, being a very premium product from Switzerland, you and I today have the opportunity to represent a Swiss product. I was very intrigued when I first got started in this business to realize that I could invest in the Avita 
Avita business as a network marketing independent business owner working together with Avita. Now, Avita brings in the Salajan from Switzerland. I'm given the rights to market Salajans to all my customers. I'm just using one product. Yeah? So this is easier for us to, to discuss this uh, business opportunity. So I invested 25,000 Singapore dollars to get started in the Avita business as a business owner. I have the rights to market a product to my happy customer. Now, of course, when I first started, I didn't know how to sell products because I was from the dot-com industry. I have never been in sales and I have never been in marketing. So I do not know how to do it. But guess what? In the Avita business system, we have mentorship that is built into the entire business model. So I was very fortunate that when I got started, I have my upline mentor who is Pauline, she's now in Perth, Australia, and Josephine, who is with us here tonight. They are the ones who supported me, trained me, and give me guidance. And soon enough, I have started to grow a small pool of customers. My business started to take off. Okay, Of course, I'm very happy with that because when you have customer, it means that you will always have what? You will always have business is whether I want to work harder a little bit more, okay? But no matter how hard I work, and mind you, this is where the, the trap of network marketing, if you don't understand the concept of network marketing, you may get into this trap that you are just buying the product, the sell product and buying product, then you, you are a retailer. But we are not really just a retailer. Remember, just I mentioned that you can actually franchise the business out to other friends, and this is exactly what I did. So I underwent the training and mentorship program and I leveraged on the team and the system. Remember Robert Kiyosaki said, a good business is a business that has system and you have people working with you. So system and people are the two magic components of making your B quadrant business dream come true. So I invited some of my good friends uh, Tengi, Chongping, Joey, Kate, and many others. So here, I'm just giving you an illustration of how it works. And these are my business partner, while the rest, the, the initial four of them are well, representing you know, my, my happy customer group. And then guess what? Whoever who joins me as my business partner has the same equal opportunity and the rights from Avita Company. So every one of us have the same rights with Avida company. And because of the same equal opportunity, they, are, they, have this, they share the same business advantage as me, as Pauline, as Josephine. And now we build a strong network that goes into different countries even, which means it is a business that can earn unlimited income potential depending on how big and how wide and how competent your network is, which are within our control. It's totally within your control. So you, for the, I, for the first time, could control my own income ceiling, not depending on the interview with my boss, my superior, and uh, how much they would recommend to the board to give me a pay raise of 2% or 5% or $200 or whatever. I could now decide for myself if I work harder a little and I treat this business not as a try-try or a side business or hobby business, but as a full-time business, then I can grow it internationally. And this is exactly what happened. When you can scale across Asia, you now have gone beyond just a local business to become a globally oriented business. So in other words, this is literally an MNC, multinational corporation that I got started with only 25,000 Singapore dollars, which I do not need to worry about the renter, the warehousing, the logistic, the shipment, the everything, the manufacturing, especially the manufacturing is a big, big capital. Yeah. So once we are able to do that, then we can build as big a network 
as we strive to. And I'm thankful that I have very, very good business partner who have a dream for themselves. They're not working for me, but they're working with me and they grow their organization. So you can see that here you have Tengi, who has an organization that is grown to 2,300 people. Chongping has grown to 1,000 over people. And Joey, per, per ambassador, Joey has grown to 6,600 over people. And under him, there is Siu Ling here, so have grown to over 3,000 people. And Kit, 350 people. So everyone is on the path, that highway, because we are on the right train and we are in the right business model. Then the only thing left is you, talent hunt, your own right people. People who are motivated, people who are righteous, people who are moral, people who are with integrity, people who, like what Tony Robbins says, are value creator in, in this. And that is how we manifest that for a better life, for a better world. Is everything come into a total package. And where are we at the moment now? We are still a very young uh, company. We have expanded into nine countries and still growing. In these nine countries, combined population is over 700 million. And uh, tonight we have the, our friend from Beijing even, and we are gradually expanding into China as well. And when China comes in, it will be 2 billion people. And that is a humongous number. There's a market that, that you, you, you sign into the moment you got started and with just a very small capital. I mean, in my case, I started with 25,000 Singapore dollar. I tap into a global market size of 2 billion people. At the moment now, it's 700 million people. And that is exceedingly exciting for someone from Singapore like me because Singapore population is only 5 million. And you take away the... You take away the babies and the, the children you know, who are, may not be our market, then we are left with maybe only 3 million market size. But immediately, we can expand it to 700 million people. And even people who are from a big country like the Philippines. Philippines has 110 million populations. But guess what? In every one of these nine countries, there are Filipinos there. In, in the US, there are Filipinos you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of Filipinos in dotted in Australia, in, uh, in US, in Middle East, and everywhere on planet Earth. So that is the power of network marketing. Now, 20, 30, 40 years ago, it would be difficult to communicate and connect with all these people from different countries so far away. We do not have the internet. We do not have even phone call. It's very expensive. Today, with this machine, high-tech, small, cute little machine. The entire world is in here and we are able to connect. So now it's really, in my opinion, yeah, in my humble opinion, now it's a very exciting time for connections. And if we can add connections, connectivity together with a good business vehicle and the right trend and something wellness, everybody would be interested to age slower to prevent disease. Wow. And to enhance their immunity. And that is what I call a good business vehicle and on a good highway. Yeah. But then how do we do this business? That's the most important thing. You may have the best product. You may have figured out the right business model, but how do you then work together in concert? You may be the best pianist. You may be the best cellist, you know, uh, or the violinist. But by yourself, there's only so much you can do. But when you can come together and become an orchestra, then the power is going to be multiplied a thousand times. And that is how to co-create values and make this uh, a viable and, and, and an explosive business for everyone. How we go about doing it is by the Avita education system. I call it the experiential MBA. We are steep in training because we do not believe that anyone is able to just join us and be successful. I had my corporate experiences, but I knew so little when I started this business. So we have methodical training, mentorship, team support, and we have business events like tonight, and we have regional networks that connect together and cross support one another. And lastly, we have a business system that allows you to track real time. Like what Tony Robbins said, 
Once upon a time, it, would it was difficult. But today, you could track your business performance on a real-time basis anywhere on planet Earth. And that is powerful because everything rides on the internet technology. One of the most exciting and enjoyable uh, part of this business for me is travel, meet new people, and build my business, and uh, build new customer and build new business partner. How many of you love to travel? Can I, can I uh, invite you to say yes or no on the, on the chat group? Uh, how many of you love to travel? If yes, say yes. Wow, no, wow, right? I love to travel. Of course, the last few months and uh, maybe one and a half, close to two years now, we can't travel. Uh, but I love travel. This was in Jakarta and you see in Bangkok, we are opening a new exciting country, Bangkok, uh, Thailand. Thailand market is our baby market and we are very exciting about that. And we travel to meet Friends, I, friends of friends, and friends of friends of friends. And uh, for those who love the product, they are welcome to be a member and enjoy being a happy customer. And for those who see a reason to seize a business opportunity and wanted to partner with us, we provide training. So we travel around and provide training, we conduct really solid experiential MBA style training and to help everyone level up. We do not need any CV. We don't care about your experience, your paper qualifications, not important, you know, race, language, religion, nothing is uh, important. Everyone is welcome to join in and to each your own goal. Our job is to support you in reaching your goal. And that is so exciting. And so you, have, you can see that in the, in the picture here in Manila, we have a really fantastic group of uh, focused entrepreneurs from all walks of life coming together and building this business and cross supporting one another. And once a while, every year, we gather together in Singapore, in, uh, in Philippines, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, in different parts of Asia, and we train together leadership development, independent mindset, entrepreneurship mindset, our skill set, our, our, our knowledge, not just on the product basis, but on building a business, building a cross-culture international business that is so exciting. So we come together and we learn together. And guess what? We have something to learn from one another. What I know may not be what you know, and what you are very good at may not be something that I'm good at. So when we come together, we have become an international family. And this is the most beautiful part of the business. Not just about earning money. Earning money is really important, yeah? Or needless to say, yeah? Good business is a business that can make you millions. But more than that, it makes you that kind of very precious connections and we build the business as a big family. Of course, the last two years has been uh, challenging of sort. You know, we can't meet face to face. But guess what? We have the technology now. We do not even need to meet face to face and yet we are meeting face to face. In fact, you and I are much closer than if I were to meet you in person. Do you agree? See, this is, if I take a ruler, it's only about one feet away from my camera and that your camera to you is only what, another feet? So literally, we are two feet to each other. And we are two feet to each other here. Every one of us is just two feet to each other here. And that is so exciting. And now we have even evolved from a Zoom, like what we are doing tonight, to this photo here that you can see. We are doing hybrid. So we are doing a physical uh, workshop or seminar. At the same time, we are beaming this physical workshop to the world on the, on the Zoom. So we have the best of two worlds combined into one. And later on, as we can travel again, I look forward to meeting every single one of you. And I yeah, really look forward to come to, for example, Beijing and uh, Melbourne and Sydney and many of these countries that I have not traveled to for this business yet. Yeah? So this business that translates into internet world, does it work? If we are doing it in the Zoom, Really, does it work? Okay, I would like to 
just invite one of my one of our partners here. Her name is Pang Yun Ting, and she comes all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Now, um, it's amazing that Yun Ting, when she first got started, uh, it was before pandemic in 2019, she started um, invest, she invested in the GA, which is about $25,000. She was alone. She was all alone in, in Melbourne, uh, Australia. Yeah. And she took a few months and then the pandemic fever started. You know, we are all getting into lockdown. Singapore got into lockdown and all that. Uh, and she started to do, seriously do the business somewhere around April. I would like to invite Yun Ting to come online now. Yun Ting, I know that you are very cold in uh, Melbourne City. How on earth did you manage being alone in Melbourne and throughout the entire lockdown period, you built yourself an international business here with Avita. Yun Ting. Hi, hi, Alvin. Hi, everyone. Hi there. Yes, please share with the audience tonight here. Um, I, I initially, I must admit that I didn't think that I will make it. Um, but um, after going through the um, business training, uh, I plugged into the system. Um, I followed the, the lessons and then um, diligently I, I attended lessons and all that. And also online because um, there's lots of resources online uh, with the Avita platform. And um, uh, I was beginning to actually um, start sharing uh, the business opportunity to friends and uh, along the way help people uh, to into uh, well, uh, help help uh, wellness and uh, preventive wellness yeah but you um, are in lockdown my dear you are in lockdown in melbourne you're locked up in your own little house you can't get out you can't meet anybody face to face um, how did you connect in that sense um thanks to technology um i can actually almost meet or so called meet everyone um around the world uh, even though i'm in a lockdown so with the, um, with the system, uh, training system that I got, um, I actually can share this whole thing uh, with my friends all around the world. And thanks to also the um, team, a uh, global team uh, that Avita has, I leverage on them because um, they, uh, in the first place, I am still very new. So I actually leverage on the uplines and the leaders around to share the goodness and the opportunity to my friends and uh, my distributors. And uh, through that, um, uh, compared to the traditional business that we used to have, um, like what I mentioned earlier, uh, or you mentioned earlier, I'm all alone at home and I can actually do a business. Uh, I think um, a couple of countries now, uh, I think five to six countries uh, in my network. So um, yeah, I would say anything is possible if you put your mind into it. So with technology and the training system, um, yep, that's where I am today. Thank you. Thank you for your sharing and your humble, what, five, six country, I think you have got eight, nine countries now. Namely, if you look at the slide here, of course, Australia, because you're physically there, you have Singapore, you have Indonesia, Vietnam, we have not even opened up Vietnam as a country, but you're already into it. Yeah, in Philippines, uh, Taiwan, Malaysia, and even China. And your associate from China is also locked on tonight to this uh, seminar tonight. Congratulations, Yun Ting, and I'm very happy for you. And you are really the epitome of uh, what is possible. Now, once upon a time, I would say that very few business is possible to be accomplished this way, right? And uh, of course, thankfully, with the partnership with, uh, with uh, your, your team, okay, your upline team who work really hand in glove together with you, right? And to make this possible. Now, if this is possible for Yun Ting, could it be possible for every single one of us here tonight? I would say yes, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Yun Ting a round of applause and wish her um, even better success going forward. Yeah, I understand that Yun Ting, you'll be flying to Singapore soon. And uh, we will all be looking forward to welcoming you. Thank you. Okay, safe flight. Thank you. Yeah. Yun Ting has shown us that one single member being locked down in Melbourne in the house, unable to get out, 
is able to do something like that. And um, there's another lady I would like to share. This is Hui Kyung. Hui Kyung, if you are here, you can, uh, you can be spotlighted if you are here. Yeah, and Hui Kyung spent 26 years in the corporate, started as an operator. She was from Malaysia. She came to Singapore, started working as an operator at only $450 a month in Singapore. And she climbed, of course, like all corporate people, right? You climb, you climb, and then you take night classes, you get uh, more paper qualifications for promotions. And eventually, by the age 45, she thought that it would be the ceiling of a corporate value, right? Now, all of us have a value that we think, you know, if you go to a job interview, they will ask you, you know, so what is your asking salary? You know, you, you will have that value, right? So she thought that that maximum value, the glass ceiling is that 3000 sing dollar. Well, she joined Abita that year at the age of 45 and she broke her own record to achieve a $5,000 uh, monthly income. And within three years, she broke her own record again. Now, at the age of 47, three years before 50 years old, she made a promise to herself. She said, I'm going to, well, I've tasted some success. I'm going to be a little bit bolder. And she said that my goal, by the time I hit 50 years old, I would like to earn $15,000 a month. Now, Hui Kiong is, has just turned 50 this year. So I wanted to ask all of you, how many of you think that she has she has uh, realized her dream. You see, it's so empowering to have a dream. I love working with people with dreams because when you have a dream, you have, you have, you have a mountain peak to go towards. Yeah? And guess what? She broke her own record in 2018, which is $34,000 in that single month. And that is something that she has never imagined ever possible. When she was in her corporate life, 3,000 a month, that's it. 34,000 is like one year salary in a single month. Now, this is what I mean by having the right people going on the right train, the right highway, in the right business vehicle, which is the business model. And nothing is impossible. And when you have the right team coming together, you can fast forward in a much bolder fashion. And that is what a Vita business has in terms of that potential for every single one of us. I'm excited. I'm excited for Hui Kiong and many other people. I'm excited for many of my successful uh, distributor and fellow partners here in Avita for having tasted that kind of success. In other words, from ordinary to extraordinary. And in Yun Ting's case, it is from anywhere, work from anywhere, and the business can be everywhere. Now, is this business amazing? I will tell you with my hand on my heart that it is an amazing business for me. I am sure it is an amazing business for Yun Ting. I'm also very sure it is an amazing business for Hui Kiong. And it is an amazing business for many other people found this business to be amazing. People who have been there and done that and earned their first pot of goals and many more pots of goals awaiting them in the coming months and years. Thank you very much for allowing me to invest a little bit of my life in yours. I look forward to meeting you in person.